Hey guys, and welcome to Tech Tree. So in today's episode, we're gonna be installing our TP-Link network switch into our server cabinet. So once you know how to do this, you'll be able to install any kind of rack mounted server equipment into a server cabinet like this or a rack. So then, let's get started. Okay, for our snack section, all we're gonna do is require this one bolt here. This is our rack bolt, and what it is, it's a bolt within two sort of prongs. What we're gonna do is you wanna choose where you want the top point of your network switch to be or your rack mounted equipment and we're gonna simply add in our bolt. All you're gonna do here is push it in one side and let the other clip clip into the other side. Now our one unit network switch here needs to have three holes so we're gonna put it down on the third one. So that's it, that's all we need to do to install our network bolts. We'll now move on to doing the other side. Okay then, so all our bolts are now fitted. We're gonna grab our network switch and we're gonna grab one of our bolts which is now inserted into the washer. We're gonna simply hold our network switch in place, insert a screw and you can tighten initially by hand. We now grab our other screw and we now put it in on the other side. Okay, so we now do the third screw and I'm sure you're understanding the picture now. And we now get the fourth screw. And we insert it like so. So then, that is pretty much the gist of it. We're now gonna get our Phillips screwdriver and just tighten them up. Remember not to do them too tightly as we don't want to damage the equipment itself. Okay then, so that's it. That is now our network switch fully installed and ready to put our power lead in. 